Hello, this is KE6VRK here. Today we're going to look at the Baofeng, the UV5R, and this is a video on how to set up specific things such as the CT CSS tone. So the first step we're going to do is using the AB button, make sure as you push this to choose either A or B. And also, as you can see, I have a lot of other stuff stored in here. That's memory mode. And if you hit it again, VFO, it changes both A and B to VFO mode. I'll do it again. Okay, that's memory mode. You can tell because I have a name, APRS. If I push this, now it is VFO mode. So let's say you have this frequency and you want to save it and you want to put a tone. So what we do is we go to menu and then you use the arrow until you get to the menu. See, this is receive CTCSS. We want transmit CTCSS. When you go to there, push menu again, and now you can set it using the arrow. So you can set any tone you wish. So we can put it at, we'll just put it at 82. Five. Push the menu again to go back. Now it is set once it goes back and then hit the exit key. Now after you've done that, now if I transmit, KE6VRK, you can see it says CT, which it is transmitting the tone. It says KE6VRK. Now it's transmitting it. So now we have 446 with that CT CSS tone. When you transmit, you get that. Now, let's do a offset of minus. Now, in the United States, we say five kilohertz minus. Let's try that, and that's for 440. So what you do is you go to menu, and you can either do 25, and you'll get to that menu. And you hit the menu key again, and then you choose if it's plus, minus, or off. I'm going to choose minus, hit the menu again, and then exit out. Now, as you can see, when I transmit, it doesn't change. Because you have to specify the offset. So if we go to menu, and we can go to 26, there's the offset. Hit menu again, and now we can set it. So let's go zero, zero, five, zero, zero, zero. Don't forget to hit menu again to set it. Exit out. Now, when you transmit, it now has an offset, and you can hear the offset with the other Balfang radio, which is programmed on 441000. Let's try this, ke 6 k testing. There we go, it's receiving on the other radio. So the same goes if you want to change it for plus. If we do menu, 25 and then you hit menu again to set that for plus or minus we're going to use the arrow so it'll go off now we're at plus and then menu exit out and we're going to choose we're going to go menu 26 that same offset is now going to be plus so if I exit out, now if I transmit, see, it shows up on there, 451. 
which is out of the band. So that's actually very useless. So if we do this 26, but we can go down one 25. Hey, look at that. You can use the arrows, hit the menu again, and then change it to, in this case, I'm using minus. Remember to set it, hit the menu so it shows back on the item again, which is 25, then exit out. Now, if I transmit, the other radio is getting it. Now it's on 441 with that CT CSS tone. So that is how you set an offset and how you set the tones CTCSS or DCS, it's the same type of menu system that we went through. Remember, there's the uh, CTCSS, we have 12 and 13. 13 is the uh, CTCSS. 13 is CTCSS and 12 is DCS. Let's do menu 13. And that is the tone we have it set at. Now, as I, as I go through here, that is the uh, DCS is off. You can set that too. You can also, if you go back to menu 11, you can receive certain CTCSS or DCS, and you can set those. But I wanted to go through how you set those for a transmission. And remember, it doesn't show the icon on there until you transmit. Now it shows it as CT and it's on minus. So that is how you set that up. And feel free to catch our other video on how to store that frequency on there. So I hope you liked the video. This is KE6VRK and 73s. I hope you enjoy the video.